Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here we are given this integral and we say that's value k. Then we are going to calculate this integral and the answer should be in terms of k. Well, as we can see, the difference between this and that is just here we have the 10th power, but this is the 12th power. Huh. So we must come up with a connection between this and that, and the answer should be in terms of k. Hmm, how can we do that? Well, as always, be sure to pause the video and try this first. Okay, let's see what we are going to do with this guy. Hmm, this is the 12th power. This is the 10th power. So perhaps we should break the powers apart from here. So let's take a look, and I'll just write it down right here. Well, the integral from 0 to pi over 4, and for the 12th, I will just write it as 10 gen to the 10th power x, and then tangent to the second power. So this is still the 12th power of tangent. And then we have the secant x right here. So that's fine. And after we have done that, you see this right here. Tangent squared x. We can actually use an identity for this. Namely, secant squared x minus 1, isn't it? And perhaps we'll just distribute this real quick. Notice I have this in front, this in the back. Be sure you distribute both. So the first part is going to be the integral from 0 to pi over 4. And then here we have tangent to the 10th power. Let me just write that down first. And then secant, secant squared. So altogether we have secant cubed x, like this. And I'm actually going to close this integral now. And then for the second part of the integral, I'm going to take this, multiply with a negative 1, likewise this as well. And they are still inside of the integral. So we will have to subtract the integral from 0 to pi over 4. And then we have the tangent to the 10th power x. And then we have the secant x dx. And doesn't this look familiar? Yes, it does, because this right here is precisely our k. So this is taken care of, but this is not. We have to think about how we can actually handle this guy here. Huh, let's see. Hmm. I don't think I want to use any more identity for the tangent square from here. And I don't think I should use the identity for the secant square, because I saw the secant square right here. And if you use secant squared as tangent squared x plus 1, I'm afraid that we'll get back to the original. That's, that's not, uh, that's not, no, just no. But notice, when we have this integral, just think about, wouldn't it be nice if this is actually secant to the second power instead? That would be so much easier, isn't it? Because we can just do u sub real quick, let u equal to tangent x, and then everything will work out nicely. Well, we notice that that's the part of the integral that we can totally integrate, and then the other part will be just the addition of secant x. So as you can see, we know how to integrate one part of the integral. Let's just go ahead and differentiate the other part. And yes, that's precisely the integration by parts. So I'm going to fix this a little bit, and perhaps I will just write this down right here for you guys. I will just break this apart as secant square well, let me write down secant mm, square here, okay, and then times secant x. I'm going to integrate this and that, and then I'll differentiate this part. So let's put on the di method right here. And of course, this is just like the u from the udv format, and this is the dv. But anyway, same thing, integration by parts. I'm going to differentiate secant x. I will integrate this and that, namely tangent to the tens, and then we have secant squared x. This right here gives us secant x times tangent x. This right here, we do u sub in our head. Let u equal to tangent x. du will be secant squared right away, and we can take that to the u world right away. We pretty much have to integrate u to the 10th power, and that will give us 1 over 11, u to the 11th power, which is tangent to the 11th power, just like this. Very, very good. And you see, when you multiply this and that, 
This is the first part of the answer. So let's just focus on this part right here. We are going to get this time step, which is 1 over 11 tangent to the 11th power. And then we have the secant x right here. And since this is the first part of the answer, don't forget to plug the limits in, right? The limits of integration from 0 to pi over 4. And then, of course, we will have to look at the second row. For the second row, don't forget we are still in an integral. And of course, you didn't want to keep going because you should have a sense of danger. If you keep differentiating this, no. If you keep integrating this, no. <laughs> so we stop right here. But anyway, we have an integral that's a minus, and then we have this times that. So let me put down the 1 over 11 in the front, and then let me write on the integral. And uh, this is still from 0 to pi over 4. Here we have tangent x times tangent to the 11th power. And yes, that's beautifully equal to tangent to the 12th power. Right here. And then we still have that secant x like this. What good does this do? Yes, this is exactly what we have, right, from the starting. So here's the deal. We are going to calculate this part right here, and then we are going to just bring this to the other side so we can combine like terms. And then this guy is just the k. So we are pretty much there. Let me just finish this right here real quick for you guys. Putting pi over 4 so we get this right here. Right, this right here will give us 1 over 11. We have, let me just write it as tangent to the, well, let's write down the pi over 4 here first, and then to the 11th power times secant to the, well, to the first power, and then pi over 4 right here, right? So I plug in pi over 4, and then I minus, I plug in the 0, which is 1 over 11. Yes, the answer is 0, but I just want to show you guys all the work. This is secant to the first power, and then we have the 0. This right here, because of tangent of 0 is 0, tangent to 11, and then rest is equal to 0. So this is 0, that's gone. Well, well, this right here is 1. So 1 to the 11 is still 1. So we have 1 over 11. And secant to the well, secant to the first power, pi over 4. It's the same as cosine of pi over 4. But this right here, you just get square root of 2. Very nice. Yeah. So all in all, this right here is just square root of 2 over 11. And this is gone. And we have the k. And now let me go to the original again. So check this out. So what we are saying is that this right here, after all the work, we see the first part of the answer is square root of 2 over 11 from this portion. And this is going to be 0. And then we have this integral right here, which I will write down minus 1 over 11 integral from 0 to pi over 4. And then it's actually the same as the left-hand side. So let's just put that down real quick, dx. And then we also have this guy, right? Don't forget this guy. So we minus k. This is a minus, and we have the k from there. All right, so as I said, we're pretty much done. So all we have to do is just add 1 over 11 of this integral of, you know, same thing. So I'll just put on dot dot like this. So we just put on plus 1 over 11, the integral, and then dot dot like this. Save time, you know. And then we'll see this and that cancel. <laughs> this is 9, 11, okay? And then you pretty much have, okay, 1 plus 1 over 11. I know this is a lot of 1, but you end up with 12 over 11. 12 over 11, the integral of that thing, which is this, and then uh, the rest, square root of 2 over 11, and then this is a minus k. Well, well, to get rid of the 12 of 11, we have to multiply 11 over 12. So let's multiply by 11 over 12 on the right-hand side. This, 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 that cancel. So the last part, I will write it down legitimately for you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, the integral from 0 to pi over 4, the dot dot, is this guy, which is tangent to the 12th power of x times secant of x dx, this is equal to this and that cancel, so we have square root of 2 over 12, 
and then minus this time step, which is 11 over 12 k. Question for you guys. Do we need to point out on plus c right here? 